A stroke is a medical condition in which poor blood flow to the brain results in cell death. There are two major types of stroke, ischemic and hemorrhagic. Strokes are the fifth leading cause of the death in the U.S. Strokes cause various physical disabilities such as muscle weakness, numbness, or speech loss. Currently, there are no medications for post-stroke recovery, so patients must only rely on rehabilitation. A stroke frequently causes diastasis. Diastasis is a sudden change of function in a distant brain area following a focal brain lesion such as infarction. Diastasis is generally observed by reduced glucose metabolism by PET imaging. The appearance of diastasis is clinically important, however, the mechanism of diastasis has not been clarified. This study identified the mechanism of diastasis following white matter stroke and further proposed a novel therapeutic strategy for post-stroke recovery by reducing diastasis. We assessed the motor deficits after stroke through the single pellet reaching task. A healthy hungry rat can freely take a foot pellet to eat. On the other hand, a stroke motor rat cannot, indicating motor dysfunction after stroke. We utilize a capsular infarct model for the stroke study. The internal capsule is a brain region of modern neuronal axon fibers. Damage to this region leads to severe motor dysfunction. When there is an infarct in the internal capsule, the nerve fibers are blocked from blood supply and finally severed. This damage to the motor axon fibers causes a retrograde atrophy of the motor neuronal soma and the motor cortex. Accompanying this degenerative change, neighboring astrocytes become reactive and hypertrophied. The reactive astrocytes excessively produce GABA, an inhibitory transmitter. GABA is synthesized through a mitochondrial enzyme called MALB and is released through BEST1, an astrocytic anion channel. The excessive GABA from reactive astrocytes binds to GABA receptors of neighboring modern neurons and tonically inhibits neuronal activity. The tonic inhibition of modern neuronal activity leads to depression of glucose metabolism. We reveal the diastasis following stroke is characterized by a significant reduction of neuronal activity and glucose metabolism through excessive astrocytic GABA. The reduced glucose metabolism can be detected by PET imaging. The diastasis with glucose hypometabolism is visualized in blue and this blue area in the stroke model is significantly increased compared to the normal brain. Currently, rehabilitation is the only option for the patients who suffer from post-stroke sequela. However, although rehabilitation will stimulate motor cortex, rehabilitation did not recover the motor function in stroke model animals. This could be due to diastasis through excessive tonic inhibition by astrocyte GABA which hinders this modern neuronal firing and synaptic transmission. Therefore, motor function cannot be recovered by rehabilitation alone. To reverse the diastasis following stroke, we developed a novel inhibitor of GABA synthesized enzyme, MALB. This compound is named KDS2010. In the stroke model animals treated with KDS2010, the excessive GABA synthesis was blocked by MALB inhibition and the reduced neuronal activity and glucose metabolism from diastasis was recovered. This PET image displays the reduction of diastasis volume by KDS2010 treatment. Once the diastasis is alleviated by KDS2010 treatment, rehabilitation can efficiently stimulate the motor cortex and finally, motor function can be recovered.
In this way, the combination therapy of rehabilitation and KDS 2010 treatment recovers the motor function of stroke animals in the single pellet reaching task. In summary, this study reveals that the limited therapeutic effect of rehabilitation for the patients with white matter stroke is due to diastasis through excessive suppression of neuronal activity by astrocytic GABA. This study is performed by a collaboration of IBS, GIST, and KIST. This paper is published in the latest volume of Cell Reports.